Okay, so this is a very quick video on how to contour images from the internet. So here I have um, some Batman logos, okay? So I've just typed in Batman logo and it's given me some nice black and white outlines like this. So if I click on this first Batman logo here, you can see it's got a nice crisp white background behind the image here, which is perfect for what we want. If I click on this uh, slightly older image here, you can see it's got the gray and white checkered background around the outside of it. OK, so that wouldn't work well because it's what we call a PNG file. OK, and that doesn't work well with 2D design. So make sure you know that one wouldn't work either. This one would work because it's got the plain white background. So we're going to do right click, copy image, go to design, right click, paste that image there, move it. We can make it a little bit smaller if we want to, like so. Now we want a nice outline for this. Maybe I want to laser cut that image out for example that shape out so i would go to bitmaps uh, bitmaps is just a posh word for picture basically go down to contour it, uh, contour bitmap so contour the image clicks like so now it's asking you how big a spacing do you want around the outside if i leave that five millimeters what i'll do is i'll get i'll have the batman uh, image but it'll be five millimeters bigger and i'll probably lose some of the detail especially in the top of the ears here and things like that so i'm just going to click 0.2 so it's a very little it's a tiny bit bigger click ok and then it's outlined for me i then select the original image press delete and i'm left with the outline like so so i've then got that there and i could then go to round fill fill it with a solid uh, black color like so and then fill that in so i've now kind of got my batman badge and i can then make it smaller and whatnot and move it around like so okay so that's just one way of doing that now it wouldn't work on images so something like that for example we wouldn't be able to do that without a lot of editing for that image so be careful with what type of images you want to try and do you know with something like that you might want to copy that into uh, powerpoint that's uh, why into 2d design you might want to paste it it's a bit big so we need to zoom out so something like that, for example, we wouldn't be able to use, you can't just uh, contour that straight out. You might want to use something like the path tool and then draw around, which would take quite a lot of time to do something like that, but that wouldn't really be you know, useful for us there. So that's a very quick way of just getting a basic black and white outline or image. And obviously the more complicated it is, sometimes the, the um, it, that it doesn't really show up that well and it doesn't work that well. So you've got to be careful with what kind of image you pick. Try and pick a more simpler image if you can. Um, but just play around with it. Use the bitmaps, contour bitmap by 0 or 0.2. So you just get a slightly bigger uh, image. Play around with it and see how you go.